Hey everybody, it's Professor Williams, and I'm going to work one of these retirement questions. So, we have Monica, who is going to be able to invest her money at 10% a year. And what she wants is that when she retires, she wants to be able to get $4,900 a month. She wants to be able to get that monthly income for 25 years. Currently, she's saved nothing, but she has 30 years until she retires. So our ultimate goal is to be able to tell her how much money she needs to put into her retirement account every month for the next 30 years so that when she retires, she'll be able to draw out that $4,900 a month income. So the way we're going to approach this is we're going to figure out what the value of her retirement account needs to be in order to generate $4,900 worth of monthly income. So, let's grab our time value of money amounts. All right, so the first thing that we know is that she wants to be able to draw out of her account for 25 years. And she wants to be able to draw out every month. So what she's looking for is 300 payments at retirement. And because we're expressing N in terms of months, we have to convert our interest rate of 10% into a monthly interest rate by dividing it by 12. So in this case, I'm going out five decimal places. And so that gives me a monthly interest rate of eight and then four threes. The other thing that we know is that she wants to be able to take out a negative $4,900 every month. And we also know that she's gonna spend all of her money. So what we're calculating is what does the present value of her retirement account need to be at 10% interest in order to give her a $4,900 a month retirement check. So I've cleared my time value of money keys and I'm going to enter my my values. So we know that we're going to get 300 payments. We know that our interest is going to be that 0.8333 every month. Um, we know that her payment that she wants to draw out is $4,900, which is a negative. And we know that she's going to spend all of her money, so her future value will be zero. And now we want to compute her present value. So when she retires, she needs $539,233.10 sitting in her retirement account. Now we're to what we started with. I want to know if she needs this $539,000 in her account, how much will she have to contribute every month for the next 30 years in order to get that $539,000? All right, so now she's going to work for another 30 years and she's going to work every month. So she's going to make 360 payments to her retirement account. And she's still investing at that same 10% converted to a monthly um, interest rate. And she's already told us that she saved nothing. But we also were able to tell her from our previous calculation that she's going to need this $539,000 and change in her account um, when she goes to retire in 30 years. So what we're going to be able to tell her now is this is the amount or the payment that you'll need to make each and every month for 360 months so that you have $539,000 in your retirement account so you can draw out $4,900 for a period of 25 years. All right. So, cleared my time value money keys, and now I'm going to say you're going to work for 30 years at 12 months out of year is going to give you 360 payments. The interest rate you're going to be able to receive is that 10% divided by 12. You told us presently you have $0 saved, but I know that what you need in your account is the future value of 539 two thirty three ten so that's her 
future value and so now I'm going to compute the payment and so what we know is that if she contributes $238.55 to her retirement account every month for the next 30 years she will have the required $539,000 in the account that will allow her to draw out $4,900 a month for a period of 25 years. I hope that this helped and I hope to see you guys around soon.